Hello, my name is Adebrega Oluwa Tomisi Prince. I welcome you to this channel. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you so much. I love you. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Sister Henny. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Welcome, sir. Sister Henny. God bless you, my sister. Welcome, sir. The Lord bless you. Have your seat. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, you two, come and sit down. <laughs> come and sit down. Uh, on behalf of my wife and I, please accept our apologies for this sudden visit. It's fine. I was just... Uh, we know. We are sorry all the same. So, how are you? I'm fine. Sir, what can I offer you? Uh, lunch. Lunch? Uh, we are here to keep you company. For a few hours, if you don't mind. Yes. And we also brought a Ludo board. And I learned you love to play Ludo games. Sir, how did you even... I really appreciate this gesture. Um, but I don't understand what's going on. Besides, I'm really very busy. <laughs> uh, yes, we know. Today is Saturday and then you need to relax a little. Uh, but, but I promise that it's not going to be more than a few hours. And you won't regret it. Sister Annie, 
Please give us this free house. All right, ma. Oh, good. <laughs> Help me with your okay. stool. <laughs> So, what can I offer you, sir? Uh, uh, don't worry, just sit down. Uh, we already heard that for me. It will arrive in less than one hour. Uh, so, while we wait for the meal, shall we play the game? Good. What is it? What is a test tube baby? What? What is a test? I heard you the first time. Where did you hear that from? Two of my classmates were abusing each other after a disagreement yesterday. One of them called the other one a test tube baby. What does it mean? Um. You see, that is not a good thing to say to any human being. I'm sure the other kid did not know what he was saying. But what does it mean? Why do you want to know what it means? Because the other boy was crying, so I was wondering why it pained him so much. <sighs> okay. Oh, well, you know how a baby is born, right? Yes, mommy. You already taught me. Okay. Some women find it difficult to conceive naturally. So they opt for options like um, ARTs. It means artificial reproductive technologies. It helps them to conceive and have their babies. Okay? And, um, and an example is IVF, in vitro fertilization. But mommy, isn't that your line of work? Yes, I help women conceive through IVF. Am I also a test tube baby? No, you are not a test tube baby. You were conceived naturally. But of course, there is nothing shameful in being born through IVF. So that means I can have children through IVF if I don't want to marry. Ah, God forbid. You will get married and conceive naturally in Jesus' name. But mommy, I don't like boys. They are too troublesome. Uh, um, well, when that time comes, all you need to do is just like one godly man and get married to him. Hmm? It is not in God's will for anyone to conceive and have babies outside of wedlock. But that is a long time. Eh? And so that means you have to focus on your education and stop disturbing mommy about adult matters. Hmm? Okay, mommy. <laughs> okay. I can continue your hair now. Are you done? Any other question? No, ma'am. No. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> what, sister Annie? Please move your talking. No. You've rolled the dice. No, ma, please play, ma. I insist. Move it. If you win or you don't win, it doesn't matter. I c no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I can't do that to you, ma. I can't. Ah. No. Honey, what do you think? <laughs> well, uh, you see, this game amuses me. I am intrigued with the journey of each token mm. from its yard up to its finishing square. It reminds me of the story of Father Abraham in the Bible. Hmm. How God commanded him to leave his country home and he embarked on a journey to the promised land, hmm. an unknown destination. Hmm. Hmm. You see, if you read the book of Genesis chapter 12, that was when God first promised Father Abraham that he was going to make him father to many nations. And yet, 
He had no children. What a contradiction, right? Hmm? <laughs> Concerned about their barrenness, Sarah, his wife, asked him to impregnate Agar, a housemaid. This gave birth to Ishmael. Isaac, the promised child, through whom God promised to make Abraham fathers of many nations, mm. did not come until much later in chapter 21. <laughs> Do you think Sarah was right? Sir, I believe God's plan and purpose for Abraham was solid. Hmm. In my East made him made a mistake of lying with Agar. Hmm. Yes, yes. Only if they had waited on the Lord, hmm. the world wouldn't have had the need to grapple the battle between the children of the promise and the children of the bondwoman, hmm. yeah. like we have it today. Wow. Galatians chapter 4 explains it all. Wow. This is a very deep remark. Hmm. Yes, it is. See, the finish line in the game of Ludo can be likened to everyone's journey to the promised land. Hmm. Now, take a look at this. You will notice that from the starting point to the finish square, the token has to move on the track of the game mm. and avoid being defeated by its adversaries. My sister, this is the design of the game maker. Mm. This path is like the will of God. Every one of us is like one of these two kids. Mm. Now, let me ask you, can a piece play beyond the value of the dice? No, sir. It is not possible. Exactly. Mm. See, we cannot do beyond what we have been divinely mandated to do. Mm. I pray for every one of us. May we not veer off God's plans for our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. Are you there now? Wait for me there. I will come and meet you. Thank you. Sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. Ah. In fact, I'm very, very happy today. Ah. Mm. Uh, why? Because I have you all to myself, away from those of your patients. Have <laughs> <laughs> you? But you know that that's the that's the life I signed up for now. I know. I know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. How did everything go this week? Ah, sweetheart. Everything went well. Hey. Guess who came to see me this week? Who? Guess now. And your Gabriel. Mm -mm. And your Michael. Hey! <laughs> Thou art been blessed and mightily favored. And your Gabriel. Stop. And your Michael. And your Michael kid. Stop, Joe. <laughs> you have been favored, man. It's okay. Auntie Yabo. Really? I'm telling you. It's been a while, though. How is she? 
Well, she's fine. Hmm. She wants to have another baby through IVF. Ah. What? Why now? What about Uncle Shogo? They are separated. Ah. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with men again. That's serious. Um, what did you tell her? Well, I... I tried my best to talk her out of it, but you know her so well. If she wants to do something, nobody can stand in her way. Hmm. But another funny thing that happened during the week was there's another lady that came just for the same reason. And she's still single. <sighs> Honestly... That's serious. It is well. But sweetheart, you know what? My, my heart has not been at peace since both of them came to meet me. And, it, and it's so unusual. Big God is trying to tell you something. Well, I think so, but it's still kind of blurry. Then, seek clarity. Okay, I shall. You know what? <laughs> Belumi. Belumi was asking me questions about IVF today. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that means one has to be careful with what he discusses with the kids of nowadays. Oh. I'm telling you. <sighs> well. Mm -hmm. Um, darling. Yes. How many babies are on the way um, in the clinic now? Ah, it's a mighty nation. <laughs> mighty nation. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's great. A lot of work to do, really. Mm. Thank you so much for honoring me with this visit, sir and ma. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. We thank you also for accepting us despite the inconveniences. <laughs> <laughs> May God bless you, Sister Annie. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ma. I hope you feel much better now. I've always been fine, ma. Right. It is well. Yes, ma. Uh, God bless you, my sister. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we, we, we wouldn't want to live without saying this. Yes, sir. You see, as children of God, we've been called out to manifest. Mm. But we cannot do this without aligning ourselves with God's plans and purposes for our lives. Mm. Not working in our own devices. Think about this. The Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, 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 eh, 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 let us present yes, this to you. Oh, I'm yes, grateful. Yes, thank you, sir. Wow, well, this is this is amazing. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ma. I send my greetings to your children. Okay. He never allow devil's distractions. To take away your whole joy. He respective of all you are going through. The will of God we stand. Be resolute in your heart. You are on the path to fulfillment. Be resolute in your heart. My precious dwell, you are my dream come true, dream come true. How I always love you, baby.
are you smiling, bro? Do you expect me to show how I truly feel in the public? What have I done again? Everything. Like what? First off, I have told you several times to stop calling me bro in the public. No. I've always told you that unless you give me what I am asking for, I will always call you bro. Or are you not a bro? Wait. I know what you are getting at. So please stop it. Hello? Hello. My name is um, Dr. Morayo Joel. I'm a medical doctor from Yanibura Fertility Clinic. Am I on to Mr. Alex Adegoke? Yes, you are. How may I help you? Yes. Doctor, I know her. Oh, good. Um, she was your fiancé, right? Yes. What exactly do you want? If you don't mind, I would like to meet with you. Uh, I am not so sure about that. Why? Because you are calling out of nowhere over an acquaintance of mine. The more reason you should want to meet. I just need some answers. What kind of answers? Is she alright? She's very fine. You will know the questions when we meet. Alright. Um, let us meet on Saturday by 8 p.m. 8 p.m.? I can't meet at that time. I'm a married woman. Oh, I am sorry about that. When is convenient for you? Okay, let's meet Friday afternoon. I'll text you the address before then. Don't worry. It's going to be an open space. Alright. Goodbye. All right, thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye. Hello, dear. Hello, ma. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. It seems we've met here a couple of times, I believe. Yes. So, do you know me? Who does not know you in this city? I do know you very well. Really? Yes. <laughs> I never knew I was that popular. Hmm. Such modesty. Is that sarcasm I perceive? No, ma. I dare not. I was only teasing you. Sarcasm is my thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know the doctor is like a sister to me, right? Really? Yes. A mother is my older cousin. Really? Yes, you know, my parents did not know when to stop having children, so my older siblings are more or less like my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Your family must have been large. Large. <laughs> large. Large is an understatement. <laughs> In my home then, we literally used to fight over a space to breathe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, well, they were interesting times anyways. Yeah, I wish I had such a large family while growing up. I really love seeing children around me. Really? Yes. That's interesting. I don't mind having many children. If I hear many children, do you even know what you're saying? Many children. Even one, just one is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, many children. Well, now I'm beginning to wish that you met my mom before she died. So, What's your name? Eniola. Eniola. Do you know why I've been talking to you? I don't understand. I mean, we literally haven't met before. And here I am telling you so much details about my life. Do you know why that is? It's going to be because you need a friend. Scared. Lonely. Or both? Wow. Are you, a, are you a prophetess? No. A preacher? No, ma'am. Just a Christian. Why are you asking? <laughs> because we just kind of seem to have a lot in common. I mean, besides the obvious desire to conceive. How can that be? 
Because since you've been coming here, I've not seen you with your husband. I've not seen you with any man. Are you single? Yes, I am. Really? Divorced? No. I've never been married. You've never been married? Wow. Keep it that way, my dear. Yes. Look, there's no word out there for women, no. Hey, except we seize it by force. Hmm. Oh. I have to go now, ma. It was oh. nice chatting with you. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Take my car. Okay. Call me anytime. All right. All right. Huh? And Moriah, the doctor, she's the best, one of the best in the city. All right. So you're in safe hands. All right. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Eniola. Good morning, Doctor. How are you today? I'm fine. So, how may I be of help to you today? I'm ready. Okay, have you made up your mind about this? Yes. I'll, I'll give you some forms and you fill them and bring them back in two weeks. Why two weeks? I can just feed them now. Because that is the procedure I want us to follow. Mm. What of payment? No, don't pay it. You would pay when you bring the forms in two weeks. You people don't have online forms. We do. I just want this to be physical. Mm. All right. Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay. Fill those forms and return them in two weeks. Why are you in a hurry? I just want to get it done and over with. I can't wait to carry my baby. Every mother looks forward to that time. You know, you cannot fill the void meant for the father too. Doctor, with all due respect, don't even go there again. Okay, I'm sorry. Do you always preach to your clients? This will push them away. If not because you were early recommended, I would have gone elsewhere to do this thing. Um, just fill the form and bring them back in two weeks. When love springs up, springs up, be resolute in your heart, stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. Oh, so you're done. Is everything all right? Is she always like that? Like what? What, what happened? Discouraging her kids from going ahead with their wishes. <laughs> what did she say? What happened? Tell me. She's telling me. She's only telling me to wait on God's plan. As if I don't know God's plan for my life. <sighs> She's a woman like me. I expect her to know better. Look, I believe Moriah is doing what's best for your procedure. Just take it easy, my dear. All I want is to have a baby for myself. Am I asking for too much? No, you are not. Just take it easy. I need to leave now. Just follow our every instruction. everlasting joy. Why did you do you that? Me, I mean, you really need to be very careful, Moriah. I am, ma. If you are not led to go ahead with her, why not just tell her? God wants me to help her. And is that what you are doing right now? Yes, even you. Me? Well, haven't I been discouraging you from going ahead with this procedure? But my own case is settled now. Says who? I saw your test result. And? Everything is fine except the fact that your blood pressure is high. As a lady in her 40s, you put yourself and the baby at a very high risk. Are you stressed or agitated? <laughs> that's impossible. I mean, I've never been this relaxed in my entire life. But that's what I see here. And I think we need to take care of that before we continue. Uh-huh. 
Murayo, I can see what you're doing. And what am I doing? You're trying to stall me too, right? It is for your own good. Are you not a born again Christian? And you know a born again Christian should not lie. Or is the opposite what they teach in your own church? Until I am very serious. Okay, okay, okay. So what do we do next? I will have to place you on some medications for the next few weeks. All right. Um, you can take this to the dispensary. The nurses will attend to you there. <laughs> she doctors. Why is it that all of you have a very, very bad handwriting? Even you. Ah, it's serious. So. Anyway, for as long as those who is meant for understand it, I think that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see a single letter. Anyway. <sighs> so how is Musu? Musu? Oh, Musu is doing just fine. She's been doing very well in school recently. Yeah. Especially with the fact that she doesn't have to see her parents fighting all the time. That should go. That should go. Mm. Good well. radiance. It is well. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. So I'll take my leave now. All right. <sighs> my love to Musu. All right, I will. Not be 400. I beg now, I won't buy it though. Please, 400. Ah, please now, this thing is even small. Ah! Stabola! Stahedni! How were you? It's been ages. How have you been? Well, I've been fine. She just disappeared, just like that. My sister, do you blame me? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't too. Because if I were to be in your shoes, I would have done the same. What are you buying? Ah, I want to buy watermelon. But the mana is giving me unfriendly price. Oh. Wow. Malam, yeah. when I matter, I make care with you. The hala kazar matter. Kuri da ya yi chew. Thank you very much. Oh. I never knew you could speak out, sir. Thank you. I spent the first 20 years of my life in Zaria really? before moving here. Really? Yes. That was nice. That was nice. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, where are you heading to? Hey, I just want to track down Omo. Um, what are you doing in this neighborhood? I came to see a friend around. Oh, I see. Hmm. I see. Sister Henny, how are you? Uh -uh. I don't understand. I thought you've asked me before. But you know what I'm saying. See, I've moved on, Jare. I'm fine. Okay, let me have your contact. Because the one I have with me, it doesn't go through whenever I call. Um, let me send you a WhatsApp message. I think I still have your contact. Okay, I'll wait for your message then. Don't forget to. All right, I, I need to be on my way now. Okay. All right, okay. see you some other time. All right, nice see you. Same here, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, ah, sister Bola. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. 
चलो या बो When did you get back? Well, I came in two days ago. You know, I had to attend to some business and meetings. I see. So what are you doing here? Eh? This place? Ah, uh -uh. This is my house, you know. <laughs> Moreover, I came to see my daughter, Musumola. She has grown so big and so healthy. You're doing a great job. Well done, Yabo. So, how are you? I'm fine as you can see. So, when are you leaving? Uh, are you pursuing me? Shouldn't I? I thought you came to pack your remaining things. No, 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 no need for that. No need for that. Moreover, I got the papers from your lawyers, by the way. Hmm. So, why haven't you signed them? Uh, well, well, the demands were so funny and so exploitative. Particularly that part about child custody. I, I, I'm not ready to let go of my daughter, you know. Well, neither with high. What about joint custody? We are both our parents. <laughs> oh, please. Can you just leave already? This is my house, and I decide when I leave. Moreover, I'm not done playing with my daughter. Mosu, do you want me to leave now? You see, the same daughter that you abandoned. I never abandoned my daughter. You stifled me, and it was too much for me to bear. Moreover, I think it's best this way. My angel, you are my precious dream. You are my dream come true. How I love She too. Why is this compound looking so unkept? Well, you have to clear this grass before the snow is Is the mower still working? Good. Joy unspeakable For you and me, my treasure When lustful desire springs up be resolute in your heart, stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. So never mistook infatuation for love. And love for infatuation. Be resolute in your heart and trust in God. Be resolute in your heart and plant your feet in me. My angel, my angel, you are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true, dream come true. How I always love you, baby. Well, love brings this everlasting joy, joy unspeakable for you and me, my treasure. Hey, never allow devil's distractions to take away your whole joy. Irrespective of all you are going through, the will of God we stand. Be resolute in your heart. You are on the path to fulfillment. Be resolute in your heart, my You're growing wild, Diabo. You're growing wild. Tell me. Tell me if you're man enough. 
I need company. Then settle with Uncle Shogo. God forbid. Over my dead body. Please don't mention that name here again. God radiance to bad rubbish. Shogo, my foot. Your child needs a father. For your information, I am enough. I can be both. And so why don't you just adopt? If I wanted to adopt, I would have done that a long time ago. I want my own baby. Carried from my womb. Born by me from my womb. Without the help of a man. I do hope you know that there will be a big void in the lives of those children. Joy unspeakable For you and me, my treasure My angel You are my precious dwell You are my dream come true Dream come true I'll always love you, baby Where love reigns, there's everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable for you and me, my treasure. He never allowed devil's distractions to take away your whole joy. Be respective of all you are going through. The will of God we stand. Alexander, good afternoon. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. I really appreciate your coming to meet with me. Oh, thank you to go. Um, we could have just grabbed something to eat, but um, I don't know. Do you mind? I'm Should okay. we go I'm grab okay. something? I'm okay, fine. All right, all right. So, what is this about an Ola and a fertility clinic? I hope all is well. Yes, I can assure you, all is well. Um, we both became acquaintances recently, and um, I just need to ask you some questions about her. And how did you get my number? Because I know she possibly can be the one that gave it to you. I made my findings. Wow, really? <laughs> Are you a medical doctor or a member of the DSS? <laughs> I can assure you, I am nothing but a medical doctor. Should I be worried? Not necessarily. Okay, so what do you want to know? Okay, um, from my research, I noticed that um, you two were very close before now. What happened? Mm. Isn't that too personal? Yes, I know it's personal. But um, if I would help her, I need you to answer the question. What does she want from you? Well, um, I will tell you after you have answered my question. I messed up. That is what happened. I confronted her about a secret flaw that she had without giving her a chance to explain herself. Ah, I said so many terrible things. From then on, there was no turning back. The relationship just died a very natural death. You broke her heart? Yes. And I'm so sorry I did. I was so worried about how what happened in our past will affect our future together. Without taking time to think about how my reactions will affect her. I wish I just listened to her. Um, is she someone you would describe as a feminist? I don't know if a godly woman can fit into today's description of feminism. What I can say is that Eniola is a godly person. She was always strongly opinionated, yet very teachable. She lost her parent at the very tender age, and her guardian before things broke down between us. It was a few weeks to her wedding, so she became emotionally fragile when things broke down between us. 
I learned she could laugh into living like a hermit. You broke her heart a few weeks to the wedding? Yes, I did. You were not her first lover? Of course not. That was the bone of contention. She kept her seven previous relationships away from me till I got to discover myself. Two years. And she kept it away from me. And it's beautiful. Smart. And godly. She is a quality wife material. Uh, have you moved on? <laughs> moved on. I tried to. But it didn't work out. That is a long story I don't want to get into now. Alright, Mr. Alex. Um, what I'm about to tell you is against professional ethics. But I'm going to tell you because God has given me a specific mandate to help Emiola. Mm -hmm. I own a fertility clinic where I help women conceive through IVF. I hope you know what that means. Yes, I do. Do you mean Ola wants to? Yes. And she wants to do it all by herself. I she doesn't want to have anything to do with any man again. Ah, oh, I caused it. Yes, and seven other men. Enola wants to have a baby out of wedlock. I don't think that's an ethical thing for a Christian to do. No, it isn't. Ah, oh, she's obviously not in her right mind. Do you still want her? Honestly, yes. I really miss her. I've been asking God for the second chance with Enola. I've been calling her and I've been sending her text messages. But she has been ignoring me. Justifiably so. I just wish I can reconnect with her. And so what if I told you that I may be a way out? Really? My angel, oh. you are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true. Dream come true. How I always love you, baby. Where love reigns, there's everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. When lustful desire springs up, be resolute in your heart, stay firm and be strong. It's just a what is it? So Who? Bola? Sorry, I heard. I thought it was someone else. How did you get my contact? Oh, that's true. That is everything. Really? What about? When then? Outside where? Outside your house. Are you serious? <laughs> well, love reigns, there's everlasting joy, joy unspeakable. How did you know my For place? For you and me, my treasure. A piece of cake. Never allow them Can I come in? Oh, destructions oh, oh, oh. to take away your heart. So it was you. I'm sorry. Enola, I'm sorry. But why? It's the devil. It's always the devil to think that I trusted you. I'm sorry. I never knew Ruth was interested in Alex. I would never have mentioned it to her. She was the one who blew the lid open. You were not supposed to mention it at all. Eli, the truth is, Almost all the sisters and the fellowship, we are envious of you. Simply because you had what we all wanted. Alice? Yes. <laughs> Closes ring. It was like there was this unwritten agreement to despise you. 
And I'm certain that many of us jubilated in our private corners when you two broke up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. Anyway, it's not yours. So why are you telling me this? I'm here because my mind has not been at rest for a very long time. I had access to your secret and I spilled it, which I should not have done. How did you even know about the server? I did not remember discussing it with anyone in the fellowship. One of your exes told me everything. Which of them? Larry, the seventh person. We had something sometimes in the past, <laughs> but not serious. Larry, may God forgive you. What business do you have with an unserious relationship, Sister Bola? <laughs> Are we still in faith? Oh. Sister Annie, <laughs> not everyone is as fortunate as you are. Good brothers are hard to find. And that's the more reason why you have to wait on God's plan. Well, that is what I'm doing. Have you forgiven me now? <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <sighs> Nevertheless, we err. Yet, God forgives us our sins. I forgive you, Sister Bola. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sister Annie. I'm grateful. I've always known you to be a gracious person compared to that witch called Ruth. Don't put my name in the same sentence as that of that girl, please. I'm sorry. Anyways, why would you call her a witch too? My sister, to see is worth more than to hear. If there is anything that embodies total character deficit, it is Ruth. In fact, Brales can testify to it. <laughs> we women, we are our own worst enemies. Mm -hmm. Hello, doctor. Hello, Miss Eniola. How are you today? I'm fine. Um, I just want to confirm if you got my message about our appointment for tomorrow. Yes, I did. All right, that's good. Um, take care. See you tomorrow then. Irrespective of all you are going through, the will of God we Miss stand. Eniola, welcome. How have you been? Oh, that fine. Thank you. That's great. I'm ready. Of course you are. Okay. <laughs> um, Miss Enola, in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 3, it says, All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. This great him is our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. He controls times and seasons to favor his plan and purpose for our lives. Okay. Where are you going with this? Dr. Mario, what is this? Doing it. Well, I, I believe he can answer that question himself. Please, listen to me. Really? So you're ready to talk to me? Dr. Morayo, whatever game you're playing, you've gone a step too far. And I don't appreciate it. Enola, I, I am only trying, only trying to help en you. Enola, Enola. Jesus. 
Jesus. Please have your way. Enola, Enola, just hold on and hear me out. Enola, Enola, just. Yeah, okay. Just, just let's talk here. Let's talk here. Let's talk here. Eniola, Eniola. Let's go of me. Please, just hear me out. Hear you out. Haven't you done your worst? What more do you want from me? What? I am here apologizing. I am so sorry for everything. You? Sorry? What did the doctor say to put you up to this? The only thing the doctor did is to arrange a meeting. This is me, genuinely apologizing and begging for your forgiveness. I am sorry for hurting you the way I did. I should have protected you instead of exposing you. You sure should have. Hold on. <laughs> if you are done with me, this thing you want to do is not the solution. And what business of yours is that? It is still my business. It was. See, just leave me alone. I'm not doing this with your money or your body. Enola, you are a made woman I know. Only God can make an individual. That's correct. I see you have not lost your touch. Alice, what do you want from me? Is there any trouble with your little paradise with Ruth? Ruth? How did you know about Ruth and I? Were you stalking me? Whatever. I have to go now. Excuse me. Ruth and I are no longer together. It fizzled out as soon as it started. Oh. I commiserate with you on the demise of your relationship. But you guys looked like you were still together the last time I saw you at the park. When was that? A couple of weeks ago. It must have been that day. What day? <laughs> the day I ended the relationship. Why? Oh, my beloved Alexander. You are very funny. Why are you acting like a greenhorn? Please stop the pretense. Ruth, sex before marriage is a no-no for me. What I am asking for is not strange now. We are going to be married anyways. Let's just start the preambles. It is not like you have not been doing all these things with Eniola. Ah uh ah, -uh, ah uh ah. -uh. Now listen to me. Ruth, since I have known you, and your last name has been on your lips. Is there anything between two of you? Does she intimidate you that much? <laughs> no one intimidates a peacock. She's the fairest of them all. And can a peacock stand in the presence of the eagle? I don't know about that. What I am asking for is not difficult, and you know it. That is the exact reason I asked us to meet here. Why? I don't trust you, Ruth. <laughs> I fear one of these days when I'm alone with you might just pounce on me. Well, even the violent take the kingdom of heaven by force. Ruth, I mean what I am saying. It is either we keep it this way or nothing. Then I will frustrate you. What? I will squeeze out every ounce of joy that you have. You want to break up with me? You think it is easy to be chased for so long? You think it's only your sweet words and scripture that I want? You mean you are not... Do I have to shout from the rooftop before you understand what I'm saying? It is my food that I have to eat. Is that how you give it to me or I take it from you? Pastor, why should you hear about this? Tell him. I don't care. I can always deny it. In what way are you better off than in another day? Can two work together except they agree? At this point, I think we need to rethink this our engagement. You and who? You want to break up with me? It seems you don't know who we are dealing with. Please keep your voice down. We're in the Do public. I care? I will tear my clothes and run mad if you try it. God told me you are my husband and that is fine now. Are you sure you are alright? Do I look like I'm not alright? Eh? Do I look like I'm not alright? I can't do this anymore. Ruth, it is over. <laughs> Sit down, my friend. Where do you think you are going to? Excuse me? I said sit down. 
I will squeeze out every joy that you have. It's like you don't know me, oh. Go and ask about me at Bere. Ask for Choco Baby. The cooking spoon is not the only thing I undo. I used to break bottles like egg before Jesus took over my life. Jesus lo kamila wako, money where they gone. You think you can dump me like you did to Enola? I will undo you before you try it. Come here, Joe. Uh, uh, get the baby, Satan. The Lord rebuke you. Jesus name. Bring on, useless man. Come here. Forgive me for saying this. You know what the Bible says in Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For soever you must sow it, so shall you reap. It serves you right. Lamentation chapter three, verse one. You also see. It is of the message of the Lord we are not consumed. Because his compassion does not fail. Thank you. Don't mention. Thank God for saving you from marrying a psycho. <laughs> My sister, the church is indeed the hospital. And there are many patients with various levels of recovery. So, what is going to happen now? Do you still want to have this baby so bad? I've listened patiently to your despicable breakup story. What do you really want from me, Alice? Enola, forgiveness is a good place to start. It is so easy for you to pronounce, isn't it? I know it's because you are still very hot and angry. And you have every right to be. What did you expect would happen in Dr. Mariah's office? You will be going on your knees while presenting me flowers and bam, I forgive you <laughs> and fall back in love. You seriously don't get it. Eniola, Eniola, Eni, Eniola, just wait and let's settle this thing amicably. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Let us pray for Sister Yabo. Let's pray that wherever she is, the Lord Almighty we go and visit her. Prayer in Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, Father we, we commit, ask, oh God. We commit ah, Sister Yabo into your hand. We pray your hand, oh that you God. visit her. I pray, Lord Jesus, her. you will touch you will her, her heart. Touch her heart. In, in the, the name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus, she will do only your will. In Jesus' in name, the mighty we name are of Jesus. Amen. Let's commit that sister too into the hand of God. Mm. Let's pray for her. That sister Eniola. Oh. Sister Eniola, mm. that God Almighty. Should visit her too. Amen. That God should touch her heart. Amen. Prayer in Jesus' in name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Every Father, I commit to send your line to your hand. Every disappointment Lord, on you our will ways. comfort her all by the yourself. In the name of Jesus, you in will return her joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, our that joy will be restored. Father, the Lord, the Father, this decision, she will not succeed in it. Lord, in she would only do your Jesus, will and your obedience in the name of Jesus Christ. Her, her life will radiate your yeah. glory in the On name of path, Jesus. You will, you will Okay, um, congratulations. Your BP has been optimal for some time now. You only have one more injection before the retrieval of your eggs. Are you ready? <sighs> yes, I am. 
Is everything okay, Auntie Me? Well, as you can see, everything is fine. Are you sure? I said everything is fine. Okay. Um, your ovulation should start in the next three days, right? Yes. Okay. After this injection, you have to come back between 34 to 36 hours for the retrieval procedure. Okay? All right. That's fine. All right, let's go to the injection. When lost food desire springs up, be resolute in your heart. Stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. So never mistook infatuation for love and love for infatuation. Be resolute. Hey. Good afternoon, Mada. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, where have you been? I've been around. I guess our schedule has not been coinciding. Hey, it's been a long time. So, have you finally started? No, something happened that required me to take a break. I need to do this with a clear head. Oh, I see. It's better that way, my dear. It's better. Have you started yours? Ah, uh, well. I, I started mine. In fact, I took my last injection today. So my egg retrieval is in a few days' time. Wow. You must be so excited. <sighs> well, I don't even know. Are you beginning to get cold feet? And your love, been having this weird feeling. It has never happened to me before. Do you mind talking about it? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. No, not here. Let's talk in a more comfortable and private place. Aren't you going to see the doctor anymore? That can wait. Let's attend to yours first. Anyway, we can talk in my car then. Okay, all right. Um, Garuba, excuse me, I want to have some privacy. Be resolute in your heart, my Emiola, you know me very well. I'm a self-made woman. I have money. Lots of it. I have influence. Mm -hmm. Where it matters. I have never taken a loan to do any business. I am that blessed. Aside all this, I'm a well-known feminism advocate. Okay. Nothing gives me more joy than fighting for women to hold their heads up high and be counted as labels of dignity, strength, integrity and wealth and not just as baby making labels or sex symbols. Hmm. I bow to no man and I see all men as equal to or beneath me, never above. My husband he threatened my growth <laughs> and suddenly he left the house, abandoned my daughter and I in the process. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about this. Well, my 10 years experience as a married woman has made me realize that that institution is just overrated. I shouldn't have gone into it in the first place. I mean, the only good thing that I got from that marriage is my beautiful daughter. Anyway, back to what I was saying. My husband recently returned from exile. And since I set my eyes on him, there's just been a feeling that I just cannot explain. What is it like? Like a longing, a void that I've not, that I've not felt in a long time. Started becoming more conspicuous. I hate it. That's very complicated. You don't want him anymore? I'm done with men. <laughs> Same thing I said. What? An old flame is revisiting your life too? Yes. But I don't want to have anything to do with him again. 
That's interesting. I mean, why do these men always show up when we have obviously moved on? I don't know. Ugh. What I don't know is that I'm in love for myself. That's the spirit, girl. That's the spirit. <laughs> we should never feel guilty for not needing men. Hmm. They've done enough damage already. Anyway, thanks for listening to me talk. It is a pleasure, ma. Thank you so much. I feel better already. Are you a minister? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just a regular church goer. But there's just something different about you. Maybe like something like an anointing. It seems like you have something divine about you. <laughs> it is grace of God, ma. Amen, amen, amen. Although if I had my way, <laughs> I'll have the Bible recompiled to fit into contemporary times. There is hardly any love for women in that book. Well, Esther, Deborah, and the Virgin Mary played huge roles. You are right. But why was a woman not an apostle, for instance? Ah, such matters are beyond my knowledge, ma. All I know is that everyone has a place in God's plan. All we just need is to align ourselves with it. <laughs> align ourselves with it. Shouldn't you know what the plan is before we align ourselves with it? Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, perfect. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, the plans for welfare, not for evil, to give you a full show and a hope. Wow. That's quite theatrical. Are you okay? Oh my God. The Holy Spirit just ministered to us through the ways of our mouths. I need to go now. Really? We will talk later by God's grace. All the best with your procedure. no new commandment to you but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning the old commandment is the word which you have had from the beginning oh. dear God I am here. I know it has been a while we had a good conversation. I have not felt bold enough to speak with you. God. <laughs> Since Alice, <laughs> the one you gave me, decided to expose me instead. I know I'm supposed to forgive him, but it is hard. After 
tried to. <laughs> he hurt me so deeply. Ah, God. Seen him again. <laughs> All I feel is pain and anger that I have never felt towards anyone before. Ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> For months now, I have felt wretched and lonely. <laughs> Getting a child without a ma was my escape route from my mystery. But by the signs and the words that I received, I acknowledge that this is not your will for me. Lord, just give me the grace to forgive him. I heard what you told me this afternoon loud and clear. And it confirms what is in the scripture. <laughs> Matthew 12 verse 37 For by your words <laughs> you will be acuted. And by your words you will be condemned. Ah! God! God! I want to be acquitted. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm rededicating my life back to you. Reshape my life. <laughs> Wash me clean. <laughs> Give me a new beginning, Lord. <laughs> Living in great obedience to your plan and will for my life. <laughs> Help me, Lord! <laughs> yeah, God, have mercy on me. <laughs> To me, <laughs> no, if really were that you can do more than what I can ever ask for, <laughs> Lord, please, I ask for forgiveness. Ah. <laughs> I ask to be relieved from the weight of my past. Please, Lord, take this emotional body away from my heart. <laughs> I ask for a great husband <laughs> that will be my covering and my shelter. <laughs> God, I want a home in which I can find rest and peace. <laughs> I wish for children and grandchildren. <laughs> I pray for love. I pray to be reinstated in my rightful place in your agenda, Lord Jesus. It's only you that can help me. Satali ma yeke bozo da yikaba. Ini mateli kati ni ma ya naboko shida. Hey, Lord. Lord. You are my 
dream come true, dream come true. How I always love you, baby. Why do they have to be this much? I didn't take up to this even when I conceived Mosu. everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. <sighs> when lustful desire springs up, be resolute in your heart. Stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. So never mistook infatuation for love. <sighs> And love for infatuation Be resolute in your heart And trust in God Be resolute in your heart And plant your feet in me What doesn't kill me will only make me stronger Cheers to today's woman You are my precious dwell you are my dream come true, dream come true. How I always love you, baby. Where love reigns, there's everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. Hey. Never allow devil's <laughs> distractions to take away your body. Irrespective of all you are going through, Who are the you? will of God we stand. Be resolute in your heart. You are the to fulfill man. Mosu, what are you doing? Why are you not sleeping? Mommy, I could not sleep. What are you drinking? What? It's... It's a drink meant only for adults. Is that not alcohol? Come on, keep quiet. Alcohol? Who told you it's alcohol? Will you go back to bed before I deal with you? Leave this place. Go! Go! My angel, you are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true, dream come true. I'll always love you, baby. Where love reigns, there's everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. Hello. Who is this? Hello, Miss Eniola. Mrs. Bakari speaking. You remember me? Mrs. Sonuga. Yeah, the owner of next event. I was supposed to plan your wedding. Yes, yes. Um, I remember you. Good morning, ma. Oh, good morning. Uh, I'm very sorry to disturb you this early morning. Um, a friend of mine is planning a mega wedding for this weekend. Unfortunately, their decorator will not be available. So I was asked to help look for someone that will help out. I came across some of your jobs on the Instagram and I believe you would be a good fit. So I'm asking, please, will you be available this weekend? Really? I will be available this weekend. Please send the wedding details to me, ma. Okay, ha. thank you. Uh, I will send you the details, but I will need your quotation as soon as possible, okay? I will send it to you very soon. I mean the details of the wedding, okay? I'm sorry for disturbing you once again. Ah, oh, Abba. Thank you very much, ma. I'm very grateful. Thank you. May God honor you. All right, bye. Bye-bye, ma.
Are you full already? I've lost my appetite. Mm. What is it? I'm worried about Sister Eniola. It's been a while since we heard from her. Or do you think she has gone ahead with her plan? <laughs> so that I believe we've tried our best. And above all, we've handed over the matter to God. So don't walk yourself up. I believe God will minister to her. Yeah. One of the sisters in the youth fellowship even told me that Bro Alice is back chasing her. <laughs> How many weeks ago did he just part away with uh, Sister Ruth? Not too long ago. That brother appears very unstable. For me, he doesn't know what he wants. Mm -hmm. I think I I will create time to also talk to him again. Please do. A Christian man should not play ping pong with the hearts of sisters, especially if they both belong to the same church. Hmm. You know, sometimes I used to think that uh, we are not giving these youths enough information. I think we are not educating them enough. In what way? Uh, emotional intelligence, curbing the flesh and uh, relating with the opposite sex. Because you see, that is the source of so many scandals we have in the body of Christ today. Mm. Speaking in tongues alone will not solve some problems. Hmm. I honestly believe it starts from the womb. At a very tender age, many female children are taught basic ethics, chores and home management, while the boys are left out to figure out things themselves. That is probably why the girls are emotionally grown than their male peers. Hmm. I get you there. I get you. I get your point there. You know, the Bible says that uh, train up a child in the way he should go. Hmm. So that when it grows up, it will not depart from it. The ways of tradition have to give way to God's way. If we want to have better Christian men, I mean men who grow up to be good fathers and husbands, we need to start raising them from young age. Mm. Yes, you are right. That is why the adults of today also need to be a good example. Mm -hmm. Remember your uncle's love for God. Also inspired you to give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. That is a good example. If Alice, the president of the youth fellowship, could be this unstable, what should we expect from other members? You know, they are, uh, <clears throat> that was why I didn't support his relationship with Sister Ruth. But I had to call him and ask him to step down as the Youth Fellowship President because um, I don't want him to set bad examples for other fellowship members. I think what we need to do now is uh, maybe on Sunday I will call the meeting of uh, ministers together with uh, other executives of the Youth Fellowship. We need to address this matter once and for all. Mm -hmm. 
so that she will be able to guide against any intending scandal. Yeah. Yes. It is well. Amen. So, as the appetite returns now, <laughs> yeah. You know, when you lost your appetite, I was eating. So let me feed you so that you can make up for what you have lost. Thank oh. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. <laughs> Guess who is calling me? Hmm? Senola. Wow. Hello. How are you? Fine, Mom. Okay, have you eaten? Yes, I ate rice. You ate rice? Okay. All right, go inside. Go and play. I'll join you soon. I love you started drinking again. What? Oh, don't mind Mosun. She clearly misunderstood what happened yesterday night. Drinking beer? In front of a seven-year-old girl? What kind of mother are you, Yabo? It's not like that. You know, I've been sober for years. I was just feeling down yesterday night and I, and I needed just a little taste of liquor in my system. Just a little taste. What you need is help. Because you're, you're like a drowning person. You're drowning. It's like you're drowning in, in quicksand. Yet refusing help. Okay, 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 okay. You've made your point. I'm not in the mood for any of this drama. Besides, I don't owe you any explanation for whatever I do. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. And? I'll pray about it. Pray? <laughs> pray? <laughs> pray, you? <laughs> when did you start praying? Since I found faith, Yabo. Since I found Jesus. God took me from my low point and placed me on solid rock. I'm a transformed man, Yabo. <laughs> Tra <laughs> Trans transformed man. Transformed man. <laughs> I'm not surprised. That's what you all see when you are lonely and broke. I hope you will not start a church soon. Because if you do, I will expose you. I will expose you for who you are. Who am I, Yabo? Who am I? Look into my eyes and tell me where I am. Hmm. I am your husband. The father to our daughter. The one ordained by God as your gardener and covering. That is what I am. Deny it all you want, to Yabo. But I know my place in your life and in the life of our daughter. The void is conspicuous. I see it through you, Yabo. You have this bold face. You go about with this bold face, yet you are very, very lonely. I need you just like you need me. You are most soon need me just like I need you. I'm not the cause of your personal battles. But I, I pray you find closure very soon. I'll be going to Berlin in a couple of days. But I will bring the signed divorce papers before I go. But mark my words. I will obtain a restraining order against you for Mosun if you keep drinking. 
Take care. Hello? Hello, ma. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, ma. I'll be right there. I'll be I'll be there very soon. Alright, ma. Alright, ma. Yes, ma. Garba! Please get the car ready. We are going out now. Let me change. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, ma'am. You must be Mr. Shodende. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but Shodende. I want to see the MD. Oh, she's been expecting you. But right now, you would have to wait at the visitor's lounge. There's a little queue, so... You don't get it, do you? I'm Iyabo Shodende. The MD herself called me to come today. You don't know the CEO, do you? I don't care about the CEO. I want to see the MD now. Sorry, ma. I don't understand. Please, can you just wait a bit? <laughs> are you aware that you are disrespecting me by telling me to go and wait in line with those people? I don't understand, ma. Please calm down and just wait. You are so rude and uncouth. If not, you would have recognized royalty. I know you are. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. And who are you? What? You don't know me? Do you know me? Who is this one? This is Dr. And Mrs. Terry Wilson. The, the CEO? Yes. The camera shy, richest woman in, in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. That's me. Boma, the MD you are looking for surely works with me. I'm sure by now you know. Please excuse me. Okay, ma. Unbelievable. I'm sorry I did not recognize you. But what are you doing here mingling with the with the receptionist? Ah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh. Because she's one of those people. See. We are whatever we have by the grace of God. And anyone who recognizes that will have a peace of mind. I can't believe you are seeing all this. As the great hope of many black women around the world, you are supposed to be elusive and selectively available. Or isn't that why you are really available on social media? No, 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 no. I'm too shy for social media. And God is the holy hope for mankind. What is man? He's just like sand that can be tossed to and fro by wind. It's only God that can establish and sustain a man. <laughs> Sincerely, I thank God and my husband, my covering, <laughs> for where I am today. Yes. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. That you sound like a woman that is bounded by traditional feminine stereotypes. <laughs> what is traditional feminine stereotype? Hardworking, insightful, prayerful, emotional, sensitive, submissive. No! Sex objects, weakness, baby factory, and all the lesser things of life. Oh, well. I grew up with a single parent, I mean my father, and he taught me so many things. His only regret 
was that my mother was not around with us because they were divorced. So I made up my mind that my own marriage must work. I gave my heart to my husband. And he gave me all of his love in full. See, whether we accept the dominance of men in words, affairs or not, one thing is clear, in every home, everyone has his place in God's order of things. I found my place and I stuck to it. And that is why I'm a successful wife, mother and business mogul. Wow. I must say, I'm still surprised, but impressed. <laughs> Can I tell you something, Mrs. Shodende? Yes, please do. See, you need to do away with this ear you have all around you. Air? Yeah. What air? <laughs> air of arrogance and pride. God created all men equal. No one is beneath the other. We are to dominate the earth and rule over it and not to dominate one another. You have the charisma and the ability to be a brighter light of influence in this generation. But you need to get rid of those two things. Anyway, I see. Thank you, Ma. You know, now that we are acquaintances, can you do me a favor? Um, I'm still raising funds for the construction of my Feminism Advocacy Center. So, as a fellow woman of resource, I'd like you to bypass protocol and ask the MD to just give me the contract straight away. At least you are the boss now. You go and sit down and wait for her. I mean, what's your problem? Everybody will be treated equally here. Everyone will be given the opportunity to submit their bids and will be treated equally. You are not better than anyone here. Ah, I mean, did, did you even listen to anything out of what I've been saying since morning? Oh, you are so impossible. Excuse me. Ah! Hello? Yeah, please let the person in upon arrival as agreed. Is that okay? Thank you. God bless you. <sighs> Brother Alex, so as we were saying, why, why are you running after her all over the city? What do you want from her? Yes, sir. I want to make up for my mistakes. Brother Alex, Brother Alex, Brother Alexander, ah! what do you want from her? Sir, I want to marry Anola. She's the only one for me. Have you prayed about it? Ah, since the first time, sir. Mm. You prayed about it since the first time and you still went to engage Sister Ruth, right? Ah, sir, who's gaslit me? She deceived me. Mm. Now, if I may ask you, what do you intend to do differently? Everything, sir. And I have a better understanding of what I'm getting myself into. I have realized the call to responsibility, which I must embrace wholeheartedly. I see. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Sister Niola. Please have your seat. 
Sir, I prefer to wait outside, sir. <laughs> because of uh, Alex? See, you are done with him. No. I insist. Yes, sir, I can't do that, sir. But, uh, Sister Annie, you are already here. Please, let us trash this issue once and for all. I beg you in the name of God, come and sit down. Um, when you called me yesterday, you said there was something very important you wanted to discuss with me. Yes, sir. I, I know what you wanted to say. It's about closure, about relief, right? Ha! Huh. How did you know, sir? My wife and I have been praying about your matter for some time now. So when you caught, we knew that God was at work. So don't ask me how. All I want you to know is that our God works in mysterious ways. Yes, it does. So how do you feel today? I feel much better than I have felt for a very long time, sir. For a long time, God's voice was lost in the midst of other voices in my head. But yesterday, I heard him loud and clear through his word. Oh, hallelujah. This is good news. You know the scripture says, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring the good news. <laughs> Sister Annie, you look so beautiful today. Uh, Brother Alex. Yes, sir. Isn't she? She's always urgent, sir. <laughs> Good. Oh, Sister Eni, I call both of you here today because Alex told me you've not been picking his calls and neither were you responding to his messages. Uh, and that uh, he has something to tell you in my presence. So, bro, please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Enola, any now? I just want to reiterate what I've told you several times now. I'm so sorry for breaking your heart and your trust. <laughs> I apologize for not living up to my responsibility. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. Um, Sister Annie, it's your turn to respond. Sir, I've forgiven you. The hardest part was forgiving myself and letting go of the past. I'm already working on that, sir. Oh, um, I see. That's great. Now, to the next thing on the agenda. Alex, Eniola, where do you want to go from here? If it pleases you, Eniola, I will want us to start our journey together afresh. I have come to realize that God has a plan for our union together. So, Eniola, what do you have to say? Sir, I have a question to ask Alice, and I want him to tell me the truth and nothing else. What is it? If Ruth had not turned out to be a psycho. Would you ever have the thought of coming back for me? My angel, you are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true, dream come true. I'll always love you, baby. Well, love reigns. Thank you very much. And see me. What is going on? Mm. What's happening? Mariah. What is it? 
What are you doing here? Ah, I have been trying to reach you now. You were supposed to come to the clinic today for um, your egg retrieval. And I didn't see you. I have called all your lines. They were all switched off. Hmm. I can see that you've been drinking. Hmm. Auntie, what is it? Hmm. I'm no longer interested in the procedure. Ah. Auntie, you're scaring me. Talk to me. What is going on? Hmm. Murayo. Ma? Am I a bad person? I, I don't understand. Yes, you do. You have known me since you were very little. Am I a bad person? Well, no. Auntie, you have a very beautiful soul. Hmm. You are beautiful, industrious and very ambitious. You're not perfect, but you always mean well. Then why hasn't life been fair to me? How? I'm just a woman that wants the best out of life. Is that too much to ask? Why do I feel like I'm drowning in my ambitions lately? I'm sinking, Murayo. Shoko. Shugo sees me as a wild girl. And Musumala, she sees me as an alcoholic mom. What is wrong with me? <sighs> um, um, Auntie, can I freely talk to you as a sister and not as a medical doctor? Yes, please do. Auntie Yabo. Everyone sees you as a very strong and gifted woman. However, with great power comes great responsibilities. God has a great plan for you. You must really think this is just about feminism advocacy. It is way deeper than that. You cannot fight for the people you despise. I don't despise anyone. You know that. I beg to disagree. You see, everyone has been beneath you. You don't even like people who are not in the same class with you. You hate men with so much passion. This tendency to derive satisfaction from your achievements and your accomplishments with no regard for God and others, is an indication of pride. I don't think I'm proud. I'm only fighting to regain that which has been taken from us, that is most precious to us, our freedom. Of course I know that some men have this entitlement spirit. But we're not going to be any different from them if we continue to show the same sign as them. Ego, pride, and arrogance are all siblings of the spirit of entitlement. And that is where your problem lies, Antimi. But don't I have the right to be whoever I want to be and do whatever I like? Can't I be my own boss? To satisfy whose ego? God's? Absolutely not. This is all about satisfying your own ego. Mm. It is ironic that your ego is as big as or even bigger than the men you're fighting. I am very sure that that's not God's plan for you. In God's plan, order is essential. Mm. God's plan stands firm forever and even the purposes of his heart are through all generation ah look auntie i will be very frank with you um where is your bible
You obviously have not been reading that, have you? Anyway, I would like to show you something from the scripture. In the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6, the Bible says, God opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. And also in Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16, the Bible lists seven things that God hates, and pride is one of them. Pride is a fruit of the flesh, and that is exactly what is standing between you and your happiness. That has also pursued the man that God has given authority over you out of the house. That is why you are depressed. Hmm. And Timmy, as a medical doctor, if after diagnosis my patient refuses to admit that he has a problem, then there is nothing I can do. That is exactly how God is to us. God wants to help you. But he needs you to admit that you have a problem that needs solving. Hmm. I do hope you now believe that you have been exhibiting some elements of pride. Yes, I do. You see, the Bible says, a humble and a contrite heart, God will not despise. Hmm. I'm sure you want joy, don't you? Of course I do. Then God can give you that joy. All he wants from you is to just surrender everything to him totally. Are you ready to yield all to him? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I am. Thank you, Jesus. Um, good. Can you kneel down? Auntie, I would need you with your own mouth to confess your sins to God. I need you to say this after me. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. And I need you as my savior. And I need you as my savior. Help me. Help me. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. From today. From today. I forsake my ways. I forsake my ways. And I embrace your will. And I embrace your will. Let your grace be sufficient for me. They are lot now. Yeah, good. That's the deposit. Deposit? Yes, I told you it was a mega wedding. The quotation you sent was too low for what she wants to do. So I, I made the necessary adjustment to it before sending it to her. Um, that means you also have to upgrade your plans. Please, do an excellent job. She could be your divine link to your breakthrough. All right, Ma. I will deliver by God's grace. Thank you very much, Ma. I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, 
please just do a great job okay see you on friday all right bye <laughs> Take care. Good afternoon. This is the document papers. I've signed them. Now you finally have um, what you've always wanted. I'll be leaving for Berlin the next two days, and um, but I'll be checking up on uh, Musumala once in a while. I'll be calling occasionally. I wish you happiness in your next adventure. Hmm? Take it. It's okay. Shogo, Shogo, please, please don't go. Don't go. I need you. Yabo. We need you, please. Please don't go. Yabo, what are you doing? Don't go. I'm ready to submit to your authority as the head of this household. Please don't go. Please. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Please forgive me also. Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for hosting us, sir, and Ma. Oh, you're welcome. You're very you're welcome. grateful. Thank, thank God, you so and, much. And, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So thank you. <laughs> um, aren't you missing something? What's that? You think you can come here and just go? Without washing this blessing for us. Oh, that. Ah, then come and wash it for us, we John. We wash it now. All right? Just give me three months. It will be a double celebration. Okay. Mm. Mm. You think you can scope me because I'm pregnant? Eh? Anyways, congratulations. Thank I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ma. Sama. <laughs> so, 
God's blessings in the last six months have made me speechless. Mm. Honestly. Wow. Wow. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, you were like, like them that dream. Yes. yes, oh, God is faithful. He is, he is. You know, I just bless God for the day with me. Mm. Me too. Wherever Dr. Mariah is, God bless her. Amen, <laughs> amen. That one. That one that doesn't want to come back from Canada. Didn't she go for a course? Eh, she did, but shouldn't she be back by now? Or does she want to come back during my ED? Uh uh, <laughs> she will be back before then. Mm. We still spoke yesterday. We spoke yesterday. Really? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ah. In fact, God continues to bless that girl for me. You know, she was the one that vehemently stood her ground when we wanted to do things our own way. Mm. I don't know what would have become of us if we decided to follow our selfish plans. Wow. Ah, I just thank God for our lives. Just look at us today. <laughs> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you so much, ma. Let me allow you to rest. You and this is your big belly. Ah, ah. Sure, oh, sure. <laughs> it will soon be your turn. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I'm going to be here. Bye. Take care. Yeah, bye. 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 Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Well, love reigns. This everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. My angel. All right, though. You are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true. Dream come true. Oh. I always <laughs> love you, baby. Yeah. Well, love reigns. There's everlasting joy. Joy unspeakable. For you and me, my treasure. When lustful desire springs up, be resolute in your heart. Stay firm and be strong. It's just a temptation. Are you okay, guys? Now okay. Yes. Um. The make me call me said is done with it. All right. Let me go. Can I ask you a question, Lenny? When are we moving to the next level? I have been on this level for the past six months. Oh, yes. Why are you so much in a hurry? Well, is it no time for me to graduate from this lengthy probation period you put me? <laughs> Do you have someone else? Eniola. You know the answer to that now. <laughs> so, why can't you see when you've already been given the green light? Huh? Are you saying what I think you are saying? I don't know for you. Go and get your card, Joe. Wow. <laughs> so, we are not official. Pastor Wright must say about this. Now, you, Sabi, just get out of my expensive card, Joe. Hey, I barely. Irrespective of all you are going through, the will of God we stand. Be resolute in your heart. You are on the path to fulfillment. Let's get in. Be resolute. Come on, go, Daddy. All right. My angel, my angel, you are my precious dwell. You are my dream come true, dream come true. How I always love you, baby. Hello, well, sir. <laughs> Pastor, right, sir. Yes, sir. It is Alexander, sir. Yes, sir. She said yes. <laughs> Finally, Enola said yes. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. You are my dream come true. Dream come true. Ah. I'll always love you, baby. To be one of our partners, kindly send your seed to our ministry's account. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah.